There are many things about the criminal justice system that I think are shocking and depressing, but when you're in it, you get inured to it. The emotional impact, you can't feel it in the moment, because if you did, you'd get so bogged down uh, with doubt and worry that you wouldn't be able to go forward. I'm Cyrus Vance, the Manhattan District Attorney. When I was about six years old, my father was taking a job uh, in the Johnson administration. It was the middle of the Vietnam War, and he became Deputy Secretary of Defense, Secretary of the Army. I ultimately went to Yale College, graduated from law school, and made a decision to try to become an assistant DA. This was the 1980s, but the condition that we're dealing with today around race and criminal justice is a condition that started decades ago. You couldn't go into a courtroom and look at the composition of the people who were accused and not ask yourself the question, how did this happen? Why is this the group of people who were charged? Are we treating crime similarly among all people who are arrested independent of race? I did not perceive anything that we were doing to be intentionally biased. I don't believe the police officers that I know are consciously biased. That being said, I think there is implicit bias in the criminal justice system today. These events in Missouri and Staten Island and elsewhere have made this a national issue that's of concern to all races, all ages. We have nothing to fear talking about race and criminal justice as long as we are unafraid to examine our own practices and perhaps change them.